Well, after a 14-month pregnancy, a historic birth at Tanganyika, Wild, Tangan, Tanganyika Wildlife Park in Goddard. <laughs> Experts say it comes with two major historical milestones for the endangered species. Cake's Eli Higgins tells us why it means so much more than just another cute baby. For sure, man. Anything animals, my kids love that. Tanganyika, somewhere Ishmael Wangadi has been planning on taking his little kids for a long time. But after seeing this video, a trip to the zoo jumped to the top of the list. I mean, that's pretty cool that they kind of show that. Yeah, I've never really seen a baby ride and not get born, so I think that's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Meet the newest member of the Tanganyika family, an Indian rhino calf. It's been a long time coming, almost two years we've been waiting. And so uh, Marjan is the baby's name, uh, was born on Friday night. But aside from being downright cute, Tanganyika director Matt Fouch says it comes with major historical significance. It's on so many levels. So what's really cool about Monica is she's the first rhino to be born from artificial insemination. And then, of course, this is the first natural birth from a rhino that was, you know, born from artificial insemination. On top of that, Fouch says not only is the Indian rhino an endangered species, but Marjan is the first Indian rhino ever born in Kansas. Oh man, it's just so exciting. And we've had Indian rhinos almost since we opened in 2008. And so to finally have that success with a, a pair of them to have that baby is, I mean, it's just, it's monumental for us and it just makes, makes my heart so happy. Wangadi says he's already making plans to take his family to see little Marjan. The only one not quite convinced yet is his three-year-old daughter. Did you see the rhino? What did you think about it? I don't want rhino. You don't want you don't want rhinos? At Tanganyika, Eli Higgins, Cake News on your side.